All right. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to another Crypto.com live video AMA. I'm your host for today, Marina. And today we'll be joined by Sota Watanabe, founder of A Star Network, the team behind both Shiden and A Star Network. A Star Network and Shiden Network offer smart contract solutions on Polkadot. It is their mission to provide a scalable, interoperable, and decentralized application platform that defines and realizes Web 3.0. And they've just launched their A Star mainnet on Polkadot this week which is really exciting. So let's get into it. Everyone, please welcome Solta. Hello, everyone. Hey, Solta. Thank you for having me. Hey, yeah, Marina. Welcome to the A. How's it going? Yeah, uh, I'm really well, but uh, pretty busy this week. But uh, thank you very much for having me today. I'm really excited to be here. Yeah, huge week for you guys. We'll get into the details a little later, but I'm wondering if you can start us off with an introduction to yourself and how you got to where you are today. Yeah. Um, hello, everyone. My name is Sota Watanabe, founder of Asta Network. And I joined crypto space five years ago. And I used it to work at a blockchain startup in Silicon Valley. And after coming back to Japan, I became a blockchain researcher at the University of Tokyo, the national college in Japan. And I started Stake Technologies, which is the core company behind Asta Network back in 2020. 2019, and we started building Asta Network, managed chain smart contract hub on Polkadot um, two years ago. And finally, we launched our mainnet, and Asta became a Polkadot parachain. Uh, apart from that, um, I'm also one of the seven directors at Japan Blockchain Association, and I also uh, one of the task force members of Trusted Web Council, led by Japanese government. Wow, that's a lot. <laughs> so you're a yeah, founder, but, you know, you're a CEO, you're not even 30 yet. What what inspired you to start your own company? Um, so I'm 26 right now, but blockchain is the first opportunity for me to, you know, join the movement from the beginning. So internet was definitely one of the biggest movement, but I was not born at that time. And mobile is also a big movement, but I was a um, high school student. And then crypto. So I graduated at the college, and now the crypto is my first opportunity to, to join the movement from the beginning. This is most exciting thing for me. Wow, yeah, good timing, I suppose. Um, what have been like some of the unexpected challenges of owning your own business or running your own business? Yeah, so blockchain is you know decentralized by nature. So we have about twenty six employees and more than forty ambassadors all over the world. So I think we have a uh, Asta members every continent and all over the world. So time zone is pretty different, and it is really tough to make progress as a team because we believe that a great team create great product. So, you know, one, one individual cannot make a product. So great team create great product. So it is really hard for us to work together all over the world at the, and create a star network. And another thing is the, in, in crypto space, uh, everything is happening very fast space. So, so it is really hard for, for me to bet in the long run. I mean, focus on long-term impact. Yeah, can definitely relate to the working all across time zones and constantly changing ecosystem. And yes, definitely challenging. I'm sure also regulation and things like that. Yeah. Is that also been a challenge? Oh. Yeah, if I talk about regulation, probably I need a more, more one more hour. <laughs> 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 yeah, um, I'm in Singapore right now, but I'm originally from Japan. Yeah, there are a lot of the bad regulation, unfortunately. Have you noticed maybe a, a change in tide or more acceptance in certain places than others? E, yep, I think so. That the Singapore is one of the best places to start crypto company. 
and also Dubai and Switzerland and so on. But uh, I'm Japanese, so I would like to give feedback to the Japanese government after creating the one of the most fundamental protocol to realize Web 3.0. And the, a lot of followers can, you know, start own company in Japan if we could change the law and if we could change the regulation. And this is one of the things I would like to do. Very cool. As a crypto.com employee who works in Japan, I'm very happy to hear that. Uh, so thank you. <laughs> so let's move on to talk about the networks. Can we talk about Shiden yep. and Astar? Tell us what are the differences? What is the relationship between the two? Sure, of course. So in the Polkadot ecosystem, there are two networks. So Polkadot and Kusama. So Polkadot is the, the main network. In Kusama is a canary network, experimental mainnet. So it's not testnet, it's mainnet. So Polkadot is, has one of the most complicated technical architecture. So Web3 Foundation deployed Kusama. It's 10 times smaller networks than Polkadot um, one or two years ago. And also we have a Polkadot. And we also have a two network, Asta and Shiden. So Shiden became a Kusama parachain. So we connected the Shiden network to Kusama for the experiments. And we finally connected Asta network to Polkadot in December, last December. And two days ago, we enabled token transfer and we listed Asta on exchanges. So this is uh, our first step. And it was a long journey, but this is day one for us. Congratulations, big week for you guys. So are they like mirrors of each other? Are they the same um, between Sheeta and Astar? Do they do similar things or are they individually unique as well? So we deployed Sheeta in June or July 2021. And we deployed Astar two days ago. So at the same time, two network has the same function and same features, but um, function will be different because the um, Asta is 10 times bigger than Shiden originally, and we are going to implement main feature on Shiden first and then Asta. But uh, Asta is the, has the bigger ecosystem. Asta has bigger value. So our main focus is Asta. But Shiden is really important to do experiments first. And the governance will be different. And the council member of the governance will be different. So Shiden will have a council member, and Asta is going to have a council member. I see. OK, makes sense. Um, so can you tell us what is the problem that Shiden and Astar are solving? Uh, that is a really good question. So in the blockchain space, we have uh, at least two major problems, interoperability and lack of developer incentives. So first one is the interoperability. So we are making blockchain to realize Web 3.0 for billion people. And the internet was not connected 20 years ago, 30 years ago, right? So it takes time to transfer data, data from Japan to US, maybe US to Singapore. But right now, it's, you know, it does not take much time. And we can talk on, on Zoom or you know, we can use Facebook, Twitter at the same time. So blockchain will be needed to be connected to realize Web 3.0. But uh, blockchain are not well connected right now. So if I move Ethereum asset to, let's say, Asta, Asta's address to Shiden, the cost is not cheap. So it, the cost needed to be small, and latency has to be smaller as well. So one, one major problem we are facing is interoperability. And Asta and Shiden are the multi-chain smart contract hub on Polkadot and Xama that support Ethereum virtual machine, WebAssembly, and multiple layer one blockchains. 
So we have already connected our blockchain to Ethereum, and we have we are going to connect our blockchain to Cosmos, and then Solana, Avalanche, Definity, and so on. So we are going to make multi-chain smart contract hub. And second problem is lack of developer incentives. So Ethereum is definitely a great platform, and I really love it. But when I deploy my Solidity contract on the top of Ethereum, I have to pay, let's say, 500 bucks or 600, even more. So developer is the most fundamental human resource in blockchain space, but they are paying a lot of the cost to contribute to the ecosystem. So incent blockchain is all about incentive, but incentive scheme is broken here. So on the top of Shiden and Asta, developer can earn token by making smart contract, by making infrastructure. So how it works? So we have a blockchain, and the block is mined, 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 and new, new block reward is issued. And each block reward goes to developer based on their on-chain performance, the commitment. Then they can earn revenue by contributing to the ecosystem. So this is very unique feature Asta has in, probably only Asta has in blockchain ecosystem. And this is that build to earn model. Yeah, build to earn. That's what you guys call it. Cool. Yeah, exactly. Okay. How did you guys decide to build on Polkadot? Um, yeah, two years ago, the Gavin, Gavin Ud, he is the founder of Ethereum, the CTO, and he wrote a yellow paper over the Ethereum, and he, he started the Polkadot, and he came to Tokyo, and luckily I host the, the Polkadot meetup two years ago. And then Gab talked about the vision of the Web3 and why Polkadot is important to realize Web3.0. Then I started you know, joining Polkadot chat, I mean, like, like group, and I started following Polkadot, and we started implementing scaling solution on Polkadot. But Polkadot itself is a scaling solution. So we pivoted our idea, and now we are making smart contract hub because Polkadot itself does not support smart contract function by design. So all the people need at least or you know, two or three smart contract hub in Polkadot ecosystem. But Polkadot is our day one. So I'm seeing you know, more than Polkadot. So Polkadot is our starting point, but uh, we are going to connect a lot of the blockchains. Cool. That was one of my questions that was coming up later, but I think you just answered oh, it. Nice. Can you can you paint us a picture for like what does the Polkadot ecosystem look like right now? Are there a ton? Are there many other smart contract hubs out there? Um, we have a so in terms of Polkadot, five para, five chain are already connected. Like uh, Asta, Akara, Moonbeam, Parallel Finance, and Clover. So on, only five right now. So I would say Polkadot is still not fully launched because only five parachain are connected. So I really believe that 2022 is the year of the Polkadot because Polkadot got a lot of the attention from the market last year, but it was better. So a lot of the parachain will be connected and a lot of application will be created in 2022. And when it comes to smart contract hub, um, Ethereum virtual machine is really important to support existing Solidity developer. But uh, Gavin said Ethereum is important right now, but the future is WebAssembly. So having WebAssembly smart contract in Polkadot ecosystem is really important. And this is what we are doing. We are supporting Ethereum virtual machine as well as WebAssembly. There will be a transition from Ethereum virtual machine to WebAssembly, but this transition will not be happening in a day or in a month. It takes years. So having two virtual machines at the same time on single parachain is really important. And we support both virtual machine, Ethereum virtual machine, as well as WebAssembly. I see. OK, I want to move to a question that we got from our community member on Twitter. Um, her name or their name is Irenius underscore Denise. They want to ask, what are the three if you could choose three killer features of Shiden, a star. 
that sets it out from yep. those other chains that you mentioned. Yep. So first one is build to um, protocol because you know it's pretty new to for developers to earn token while making smart contract. They are paying cost, generally speaking, on Ethereum, on Solana, on Avalanche, on other parachains, they are paying cost. But on Asta, they can get the rewards based on on-chain performance contribution. So build to earn is the the definitely the biggest feature. And second one is bridges. So we are going to connect our blockchain to Ethereum, Polkadot already connected, um, Cosmos, it will be connected in quarter one, in Avalanche, Binance Smart Chain, and so on. And probably um, last one is um, layer two solution. So we are also working on layer two solution. As I said, the Polkadot is a um, scaling solution, but we think we need, we still need the layer two solution because we are making blockchain for billion of people to realize Web 3.0. Right now, I think more than, I would say, one or two percent of the population are using blockchain. But blockchain is almost whole. So how can we make blockchain for billion of people, right? So we need a sharding ish architecture, and which is Polkadot is doing right now. And we also need there too, like hierarchical scaling solution. That's why we are researching there too and implementing ZK solution as well as uh, optimistic, you know, rollups. Okay, thank you. Um, we have another question from our community um, about parachain leases. So this question is from Stryker on Twitter. How exactly do the parachain leases work and what happens when the lease ends? So, yeah, to become a parachain, we have to win the Polkadot parachain auction. So, um, so this is an auction, let's say, Asta, Akara, Moonbeam uh, bidding the, the slot. And the slot is open opened one by one. So if Moonbeam, Akara, and Asta are bidding a single slot, we have to get, we have to collect more dots than Akara and Moonbeam to secure the slot. And Akara became a first parachain because they win the competition. And Moonbeam became the second, and Asta became the third. And after the two years, um, Parachain will be removed from Relay Chain. So all Parachain have to bid again after the two years. And Asta win the Parachain auction in December 2020. And we have to join Parachain auction again in 2000, sorry, um, 2022. Yeah, so Polkadot token economics is a little bit different from other chains because we have to prepare for the incentive for people to lock dots for a project. So we issued a star token for lock drop, uh, sorry, crowd run participants, auction participants who locked dot for a star for two years. Okay. Sounds very complicated to someone who is not oh, an yeah. uh, engineer or developer's background, um, which actually leads me to my next question, which was from another person from the community. This is uh, at Beck Chris. They wanted you to explain a star as if they were uh, a five-year-old. The question is, can you explain a star to me like a five-year-old, please? So big change from the last <laughs> question. How would you explain it to a child? <laughs> that's that's a really nice question, by the way. Um, I don't know. I don't know he or she knows multi chain, but uh, Asta is a multi chain smart contract hub in blockchain ecosystem. Probably this explanation is for you know college student or something like that. But five years, five years. All right. Um, Asta is fundamental protocol to realize Web three point 
Okay. I think maybe the five-year-olds of today, they might be able to to understand that one. But when I was five, I don't think I would have <laughs> been able to understand. But that's okay. Thank you. Thank you for entertaining the question. Um, I want to move on to another question we got from the community, which is about uh, the governance plan. So this question is from at Univorn. Um, they were asking, what is the structure of the project? But specifically, how exactly does the governance plan work? So... When you say governance, probably like on-chain governance or our company structure, is it, is uh, it on-chain chain. governance? Yes, yes. Oh, on got chain. it. So we have not implemented on-chain governance yet, but uh, we are working with Commonwealth Lab. So Commonwealth Lab joined Asta Network ecosystem as uh, one of the core company. And they're going to start on-chain governance in from quarter one. And the, I talked with Commonwealth Lab yesterday, and we just kicked off. So this is still um, idea phase, but um, we are going to select on-chain council by you know, voting. So all Asta token holder can delegate Asta token to council, and council member are going to decide important things. But uh, this is like so there are uh, there are two ways to to make that decision so all, all all decision will be made by on-chain voting and if council member provide new you know propose new idea to the community it's gonna be easier to be accepted if someone outside of the council propose a new idea we can vote but um the it's gonna be tougher to be accepted. So there are two two. How can I say? Yeah, it's it's a little bit hierarchical, but uh, mm -hmm. it is really needed to have our own chain council to move things faster. I think decentralization and centralization are not binary, so it's it's really needed to keep the best balance between decentralization and centralization. Cool. Yeah, it's definitely a balance that many people are trying to figure out. Um, okay, next question is, how many dApps are currently on Shiden and how many are on a star? Yep. So in case of Shiden, we have at least 25 apps right now. And we have a Shiden and Asta network portal. So portal.asta.network. If you go to the that URL, you can find the portal. And we have at least 25 uh, live projects on Shiden. And actually, we right now, zero project on Asta because we launched two days ago. And we enabled Ethereum virtual machine yesterday. But a lot of the project is preparing for the launch. And I'm really sure that some of the DeFi application will be deployed in coming days. So, yeah, in the, I'm really sure that more than 25 projects yeah, in, in our ecosystem, but uh, it's really hard to identify the number because it is public blockchain and anyone can deploy any smart contract right now. I see. What are some examples of these smart contracts that people are using every day? Yeah, I think Dex. So I... Yeah, I had a New Year holiday, and I use that my time for researching layer on blockchains. And I have already researched uh, Ethereum, Solana, Avalanche, and Terra, and so on. And I could understand how to grow layer on blockchains. So the most important parameter is totally value locked. And the and my my first question is whether should we you know, provide dedicated support for a bunch of projects or selected project. In case of when we think TVL is the highest priority, 77% um, of Ethereum, Ethereum TVL comes from 10 projects, top 10 projects. In case of Solana, it is more than 80%. In case of Avalanche, it, it is more than 90%. In most application 
uh, DeFi, like lending, borrowing, stablecoin, DEX, uh, yield farming, and so on. So for us, we are strategically supporting DeFi service right now to create higher TVL. In DEX is the first place. In second one is bridge. In third one is lending. We have a, at least three DEX right now. And a lot of DEX will be deployed on Asta in days. And then we are going to focus on bridges. So we are working with three bridge project, um, AnySwap, Nomado, and also Sera, SeaBridge. And this bridge will be deployed on Asta in days. Cool. Lots of new things coming out. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, another question from someone who asked earlier at Univorn on Twitter. It's about contract security. So they ask, contract security is a big deal in DeFi. Has the SDN exactly. smart contract been audited? Uh, are there any efforts being made to ensure the protection of user funds so that users feel safe? E yep. So... There are two points. First point is layer one blockchain we are making, like Asta and Shiden. And Asta and Shiden are based on parity technologies substrate. And substrate is like WordPress for blockchains. And you can make all blockchain by using substrate. And substrate is audited by multiple entities. And parity technology is one of the great developers in our ecosystem. So substrate is audited. And we have written additional codes on the top of Substrate. And this part is audited by Constamp. And we have been working very closely with Constamp. And actually, some of the employee invested in Asta. Um, another, another point is smart contract on the top of Asta. So this is another story. And when we talk about smart contract, we support Solidity as well as Last, Inc. Inc is smart contract language developed by Parity Technologies. And Inc is under the development and solidity, solidity contract on the top of Asta and Shiden needed to be audited by third party. So to, to make the All long right. story short, we have already audited layer one. And third party smart contract developer have to audit their contract by using auditor, but this is another story. Got it. Okay. Um, pivoting a little bit, you mentioned this earlier, which was how you guys kind of pivoted from Plasm to a star. Yep. Um, yep. I want to talk a little bit about that, how you decided to pivot in the rebranding. And when was that again? E yeah. Um, it was a funny story. So our name was Plasm. So Obviously, this comes from Plasma. Plasma is notable layer two solution on Ethereum. And we, our name was Plasm because we, you know, two years ago, we started making Plasma on, on the top of Polkadot. So that's why Plasm. But it turns out that um, Plasma does not support smart contract on Ethereum layer two. But we are making smart contract hub on Polkadot. So, you know, Plasma does not support smart contract, but we are making smart contract have. It's not good brand, right? So we changed mm -hmm. our name to, from Plasma to Asta. And I came up the the name of Asta in Dubai. <laughs> I, I used my entire day <laughs> to think of a new name. And I checked all the domain. Um, our original idea was Astra. A S T L, but Astra Network are already taken. I mean domain. Mm -hmm. So how about connecting a and star? And I could get a domain. So the name became Asta. And Asta is actually I think great name because we can say Asta is born. Or wow, yeah. yes. Yeah. We can we can use a lot of the brands, a lot of maybe emoji, we can use a lot of, you know, contents related to star. So Definitely. I think Asta is the same. 
Yeah, lots of opportunities for puns and things. Um, yeah. That actually leads me to my question. What are you guys doing on the on the marketing side um, to try to get more developers to build on, on your guys' network? How's that been? Yep. So actually, we have never used a marketing agency. And also, uh, we did not have uh, marketing people. But community really does not like it. Because we are really oriented by tech, <laughs> but the you know distribution is one of the important things to to you know make Web three. And because without distribution, people cannot understand the greatness of the technology, right? So we we are expanding our team. And right now, we have our six members who are working on marketing, and roughly fifteen to twenty members who are working on tech. Lighting calls. Cool. Yeah. And the Our, in terms um... of yeah, sorry. And in terms of like hiring, um, culture fit is the most important things. So we are making Web3, and this is going to be a long journey. In a crypto space, it is slightly easier for people to get rich quick. But um the the people who are motivated by money does not help us a lot. So culture fit is a very important one. And the mainly I'm sending a message on Twitter or you know GitHub or uh, yeah, Angelist and so on. And then we are expanding our team. But I, I'm interviewing everyone. Wow, very hands-on. Yeah. Um for anybody who's watching who may see this that's interested in a potential open position, is there anywhere they can go where they can see some of the the roles you're hiring for, or is it all just in your head? <laughs> yep. So not sure I can say this or not specifically, but uh we raised fund and then we are really, you know would like to expand our team. So, you know, we are hiring. In the next few right months, possibly. Okay. Yeah. Exciting times at a star network. Um, yeah. Cool. Well, for everyone watching at home, I'm sure you can follow Sota and um, know as soon as those positions are, are available. Um, okay. Going back to Plasm real quick. Someone uh, on Twitter had this question at HEPA70. They were curious about the PLM tokens and if those mm -hmm. will migrate to a star. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so we already migrated the PLM token to a star. And since mm -hmm. we deduced 10 times the, I mean, to we deduced total supply 10 times, 10 PLM token became one a star, but the value is the same because we reduced our total supply 10 times. And so we are really excited to say we are driven by the community because we launched our network with 40,000 address, addresses for zero, for zero K. So I, I think this number is you know, pretty big compared to other chains or other DeFi product. So, yeah, um, we have done lock drops so people can get our token by locking ease. And I think fair launch was really important for us because we are making open permissionless um, and, you know, yeah, verifiable public blockchain. So fairness is was really important for us. Really excited to be able to launch um, the network with 40K addresses. Wow, yeah, that's a big community there. Uh, I wanted to ask if there's anything that you guys are doing kind of to invest in that community. Are there any like grants or funds that you guys have yep. put in place? E yes, so in case of Shiden, we have already announced 30 million was Shiden token grant pool. So anyone who would like to make DeFi service, especially like lending, borrowing, and yield farming, and also NFT services, can apply for the grants. And in terms of Asta, we are going to announce big fund or two fund. 
So first one is the Asta Native Fund, and we are going to invest in ecosystem project. And second one is the grant. We are going to distribute the Asta token to promising project. All right. That's really exciting. Um, okay, so let's talk about roadmap. Uh, obviously, sure. a big week this week, just a few weeks into 2022. Um, wondering if you can tell us about some of the milestones that you guys have up ahead that you're working toward. Sure. So I think one of the most important uh, milestones, um, the first one is having WebAssembly on Polkadot parachain. So right now, Ethereum virtual machine is really important. In, so actually, the e e Ethereum virtual machine is only option, the Polkadot support right now. But uh, WebAssembly is the native environment of the Polkadot. So Parity Technologies and Web3 Foundation activate Web WebAssembly smart contract in quota one. So we would like to support WebAssembly smart contract as well as Solidity smart contract in quota one. So this is one of the biggest milestone we have. And second one is bridges. So we have already created, our ecosystem member already created Ethereum bridge and Cosmos bridge is under the heavy development. And after that, we are going to work on uh, Avalanche bridge, Solana bridge and so on. And by quarter two or quarter three, I would like to connect uh, all layer one networks to Asta. And then in the long run, on-chain governance is really important because our goal is to create decentralized autonomous organization. Wow. Has anybody yet been able to connect all of the blockchains or will Astar be the first? Yeah, try to be fast. I, I mean, awesome. all, all means, all means uh, let's say like top 20 or something like that. Yeah, top cool. 20 day I want. Ambitious goal, but I'm sure you guys can do it. Um, okay, <laughs> so that, that concludes most of our questions. Uh, I have one last question for you, Solta, which is what is the Web3 that you like dream about and hope that will be realized one day soon? What is Solta's Web3 vision for the future? Yeah, there are a lot of the definitions and there are a lot of tweet regarding the Web3 decentry. But uh, my Web3 is the web of the people, by the people, for the people. So driven by individual and empower people, not by em empower people, not centralized authority. So this is what we would like to build. So layer one blockchain needed to be open in public, transparent, and verifiable. In interoperability and developer incentive are two big issues we have. So that's why we are we are focusing on these two major project pro, problem. And we would like to make multi-chain smart contract hub in 2022. Very cool. And probably that 10% or I forget what the percentage you said of people that are currently interacting with blockchain. Hopefully that number will get closer to yeah. 100%. Yeah, 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 yeah. 100% <laughs> soon. Okay, well, is there anything else that you want to share? Uh, any exciting things that are coming up or that you can hint at? Uh, yeah, uh, first of all, I'm really excited to be a part of this big movement because Web3 is the, one of the most you know, important movement, life-changing opportunity for us. So I'm really happy to be the part of the movement. And regarding the Asta network, we would like to make multi-chain smart contract hub, but this is still day one. And there will be a long journey ahead of us. So it would be great if we could make, um, you know, strong ecosystem, strong project, um, and realize vision with community and for people. And regarding the upcoming news, this is like Alpha Leak. Uh, we raised the fund a lot. <laughs> and, Congratulations. Yeah, thank you very much. And we are going to announce Astar Network Investment Fund. 
So I must be busy in 2022. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for making the time out of your busy schedule, your busy week and busy year uh, to answer some questions here on our AMA SOTA. Yeah. Thank you very much, Marina. It was a great one. Yeah. Uh, and to everyone watching at home, to those who sent in your questions, thank you so much as always. Uh, you can follow Sota on Twitter at Watanabe Sota, and you can follow A Star Network at A Star Network, Shida, Net, Shida Network on Twitter, Discord, and Telegram. Uh, and you guys also have multilingual communities, as I understand. Yep. Yep. Very cool. And of course, as always, make sure to follow crypto.com to stay informed about any updates and all of our upcoming uh, AMAs. You can keep an eye out on our Twitter, our Telegram channel, and then on YouTube where this AMA will stay after today. Thank you so much. Thanks, Sota. Thanks, everyone. Thank you, Marina.